Hello, welcome to my video. In today's video we are going to talk about the clock memory and the basic trace functions in an S7 1500 PLC. The clock memory is a byte, and the bits of it are alternating with given frequency. They are used for example to control flashing lights. We have to enable it by selecting a byte from the memory field. When enabling this function, DIA portal automatically, creates the corresponding tags. The duty cycle is 50%, and the frequency of the alternation are controlled by the PLC system. The trace function is basically an oscilloscope for the variables in a PLC. With the help of the trace we are able to record DAG's value in chronological order. The recordings are stored in the system memory of the CPU. The trace configuration is retained after a power off, but the previously recorded data is lost. OK, we have opened the project we have been using in the past videos. Let's activate the clock memory. I will use byte 50, it does not matter which address we are using, but be careful, these bits will also remain writable from the user program. And writing memory byte 50 can lead to some malfunctions in your program. Kia Portal automatically generates the tags for us and names our bits with the corresponding hertz value. Let's download the new configuration first and copy these tags and check if they work from a watch table. OK, they are changing their values as expected. Let's create our trace configuration. Unfortunately we can't copy our tags into this tab so I will have to write them in the cells. We will check every bit's value, and the whole byte's value changing in time. Under the sampling tag we can select the OB we want to sample from. We only have OB1 in our project right now, but we could have selected almost any OB to do the sampling with. We can select on this tab, that how frequent the samples should be taken. In the trigger tag we can choose from three option. One is to record without trigger, in this case the recording starts as soon as we hit recording. The other is to record on trigger. In this case we have to enable our recording and our trigger variable also has to have the desired value to start recording. The third case is, when there is no recording, only monitoring. We will use the half a hertz clock signal's rising edge, to see the bits alternation synchronously. Our trace configuration is done. We have to transfer it to the PLC. It is simply done by clicking the first button on the bar. When it has been transferred, it automatically opens a window, where our measurements will be shown. Let's start recording. As we can see, all tags are monitored simultaneously. After stopping the recording, we can see the whole timeline. It is advised to transfer our result to the measurements, because in this way it is saved to the project. On the top we can see our clock bytes value changing in time. Down at the monitored signals by clicking the eye icon you can hide and unhide variables. Let's just hide the clock byte for now. By selecting the sixth icon from the left, we can zoom into horizontally. We have to draw a rectangle we want to observe more closely. With these icons we can customize our tag's location in the chart. We can even hide that which signal belongs to which variable. With the help of the last icon we can change our background color. Down here, we can also customize the color of our variables. I prefer using yellow on black background. Let's bring back our clock byte. The trace feature also offers cursors. With the vertical cursors it also measures the value and time difference between the two lines.
trace is made of course by digital sampling, we can also visualize where the samples were taken. The values between two samples are just connected with a horizontal line. If we have used slower sampling some sampling error could have occurred. Be aware of this problem when using trace function. This was our video about the clock memory and the very basics of the trace function. I hope you found it useful. If you have any question, feel free to ask it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button to not to miss our next video. See you next time. Bye bye.